guys, Yawa almost bust yesterday, but thank God for self control and good people around. If not, this is not what we'll be saying today on this show. We are still on the TV Ninja Disto on the Catch Up Show, and my name is Stone. So, our quiet head of ours, Ozo, lost his school yesterday during their Dolox rehearsal. I mean, We've actually not seen do that before, but surprisingly, he did during their rehearsal. Everybody's trying to get their head in the game, ensuring that their Dulux stars comes out good. But apparently, some people are just there, you know, trying to while away time. Prince walked out on all other housemates yesterday while rehearsing, and also did not even have it at all. Immediately, he spoke out. But one way or the other, he raised his voice and shouted, Everybody, hey, I told Vic to stand up. Vic stood up and said, Everyone stand up. Every person stood up. But then, the coolest thing about it is he apologized. That is the sweetest and catchy character about a leader. After ranting or complaining about what your housemates are not doing, then you apologize. I mean, it's very cool. And we give it to him. Even Tricky T gave his aspire to perspire speech on how everybody should just put in their effort. They were doing this in the midnight. Everybody needs to rest. So it's a teamwork. Everybody put their collective effort to make it work out. Even this other Seth is not staying in one place. Yesterday he was seen telling Dorothy that he's going to feel it when, he, when she leaves the house and stuff and stuff. Today he's seen locking hands with Nengi. Which side are you on exactly? Are you with Dorothy or you are with Nengi? Or you want to stay alone? Meanwhile, Mr. Prince, like he said, is going to give Nengi one week ultimatum. He has been keeping his school just on one side, on the low, observing Nengi and Ozo. Maybe he's waiting that Nengi will last, last come back to him, or he's just stopping. But then, I'm still of the opinion that he's not a must to find Boo or Bay in this house. Just, you know, make friends and be cool with everybody. That's it. <laughs> Trust me when I say that Kidwai and Erika's ship, I saw it coming. What happened to their ship? I mean, I saw it coming. It has been having itches all the while. Erika complained about Kidwai being a flirt and everything. Kid Wire told Nengi that he's not like he's so flirty. He's just a friendly person. He likes making friends with people. But Erika is getting the wrong thing. But then, Erika told Kid Wire, it's not about that. The fact that I need to put my hand in the game and face my career, that's the most important thing to me right now. We're talking about 85 million, not small money. So Kid Wire let him just take it. Apparently, he has even taken it and he has moved on because we saw him asking Watoni if her bed was empty or not. Anything shall be happen for this baby Ninja house. And our big star of the day, ha, Lord Baelish. I know you're wondering who is Lord Baelish. It is bright now. This guy is a silent killer. Just the way the character of Lord Baelish is in the Game of Thrones theme, that's the way his character is. I mean, he's so wise. There is nothing you will say that this guy will not say something. Let's just say he's like the biggie amongst the housemates. Then, our question of the day. Which BB Ninja lockdown housemate said, I have never fallen in love before. I know you know the answer now. I know I will do it. Send the answer to your social media platform displayed right on your screen using the hashtag catch up show. Ensure you use the hashtag catch up show and tell everybody in your world that this girl is giving you hot, hot baby nine judges on daily basis. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and turn on your notification bell so that whenever we have a post, you'll be notified. My name is Tony. <laughs>